everyone. So for today's video, I am doing the Summer Lovin' Tag, and this tag has been going around quite recently. I believe Fleur from Fleur de Force started this tag, and because we are in the middle of summer, it is a super fun tag, and it is super festive for the time that it is right now. And there are just a couple of questions, and so I'm going to answer those. And let's get started. So the first question is, what lipstick are you loving this summer? And mine, my favorite lip product is not a lip gloss, or is not a lipstick, it's a lip gloss. And I did a review on these last Monday, and they are the Physician's Formula pH Matchmakers, and they are a an amazing lip gloss. I really, really love this product, and it's super convenient and small. There's a mirror. There's a light and it's just, it's nice and small. It fits in your purse. It fits in like a small pocket if you don't want to bring something huge and big and it's just, it gives nice color yet it also gives shine. So it's kind of an all-in-one product and I've really been loving, especially this shade, the natural one. The summer nail polish I have been loving is a classic red nail and this one is by Sally Hansen. I believe it's called Pucker Up and it is just a cherry red. I have the same color on my toes currently and it's just a nice vibrant color that really stands out for the summertime. Number three is the bikini you are loving and so this one I just got this summer and I got it from TJ Maxx and it is like the handkerchief kind and so it is it looks like this and it has just straps and it like yeah, just the basic handkerchief, but I really love the bottoms on these because they're just tie bottoms, but in the front they have sequins, so they look like this, and they, yeah, they're just really cute and a fun color for summer, and they're bright, and they also look good when you get tan, so that's another bonus to that swimsuit. Favorite summer frappuccino. Now, I personally do not really care for frappuccinos. Um, when I go to Starbucks or anywhere. So I usually get a refresher and this is the very berry one. I also really like the cool lime one and they're also really, really good mixed. Or if I'm not feeling sweet, I always get the shaken black iced tea. I'm not crazy about coffee. I don't need it to survive like some people do. I don't really care for the taste, um, especially in the summer, it's hot. So I always go with a refresher or the black iced tea. Number five is favorite fake tan. And personally, I do not like fake tans. I have been orange, streaky, even when I go to like salons or tanning places. I personally do not like to use fake tan. I would rather be white, white, white than orange. So when I tan, I tan naturally in the sun. I put sunblock on and my skin tans naturally through that. So when I do go outside, I don't lay out every day, but occasionally, and I always put sunscreen on and I always put it on my face. My face is like maybe two or three shades lighter than my body because I do slather my face in sunscreen um, and I just use like a bronzer to match it as best as I can but yeah I don't really like fake tans I don't like the way they smell and putting them on is kind of a hassle so I just go out in the sun and like hiking the hiking's great here and you just get a nice sun, sun kissed glow when you're out there so favorite summer song and this song I don't really know when it came out but it came out I believe this year, maybe late last year, but this is my summer anthem this summer. My favorite summer accessory is little dainty necklaces. Um, I'm not a huge like accessory lover. I think they're they're kind of a hassle. They get in the way. So like in terms of bracelets. I don't really wear them, um, but occasionally I'll wear a statement necklace, and this one I just have, it's a rose gold um, infinity sign, and then I always wear my rings at, all year. I have like super, super bright tan lines, if you guys can see that, it's like crazy, on like all of my fingers where I wear my rings, because I wear them, I don't take them off, 
And yeah, so I really, I like dainty necklaces in the summer just because it's a little bit, but it's not overpowering. For my favorite summer scent, I am going to go with the Pacifica Rollerball in Tuscan Blood Orange. And I did, this was in my like March favorites. I don't know, it was back in school and I got this from Target or Ulta, I can't remember, but they sold both there. And it literally just smells like a blood orange, so it's very citrusy and light and summery. Um, yeah, and it's just a little roller ball. It's nice to like carry around in my bag just to touch it up throughout the day, but this smells really, really nice and fresh for summertime. Summer book you have been loving. Now, if you know, if you've been watching my channel, I love to read. I read everything. I just love to read, um, and I go through books like like super fast, like almost to a week in the summertime. So I don't really have like a specific book. I just think reading in the summertime is so good because you don't have to focus on school and classes and you can read those fun books that are on your list. And I have a very long list. Like we're talking 200 books here. Um, so currently, my summer love is The Scorch Trials, and it is the second book in the Maze Runner trilogy. I read The Maze Runner a long time ago, like I don't remember, but I read it a long time ago and just put off picking up this book and finishing the series, but I finally did it, and I am actually really, really pleased. So far, I, I'm about, I'm a little under halfway. I'm like, well, maybe that's a little more than a little under halfway. Um, but I really like the way that this story is going. Um, it's really, it's just a continuation on with The Maze Runner. So I'm not going to say anything about it if you haven't read The Maze Runner. Um, I really liked The Maze Runner. Some people have mixed feelings about it, but I enjoyed it as a whole. And I'm really enjoying The Scorch Trials. Um, but that's what I'm currently reading. I'll probably finish it today or tomorrow. Definitely by tomorrow night, it'll be done. And then I'll have to find a new book. It's kind of a bummer, like, not really living here, like, kind of living here, but not really, because I can't get a library card. I went in and tried, but they wouldn't take my Michigan driver's license. And that's, like, a huge bummer, because I don't really want to spend a bunch of money. And also, transporting them back, books are heavy. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So, yeah, it's kind of a bummer, and I'm hoping that... I don't like run out of books. I probably will, but I don't want to like keep buying books because then I get so many in. And the last question is, what are you looking forward to in summer? So basically I have had like an awesome, crazy, amazing summer and I've been loving it and I don't want it to end. Um, currently what I'm looking forward to is not this Friday, but next Friday, a bunch there's like, they're mowing the golf course out there. Um, yeah, ne not this Friday, but next Friday, a bunch of us from my church and like my friends that I've met are going to be going to the beach. So we're going out to LA and we're just gonna hang out there for the day and just have a good time. Also, my friend Lindsay from Sugar on Beauty is going to be out here August 5th and I am so excited to have her out here for the week and yeah, I'm really excited to see her. It feels like forever because we were basically living together last year and now I haven't seen her for so long and I'm like going through withdrawals and I can't wait to see her but it's almost time and I'm so excited for her to be out here. So those are all of the questions and I tag Lindsay from Sugar on Beauty to do this tag and all of you out there watching also film this tag. They're super fun. It makes you think about summer and appreciate it so much more that it is here. So I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and thanks. Have a good day.